So let's do this and a carrier game at that. Um Let's push. Let's just push right down C. Although that's maybe not the smartest thing to do, I don't know. Maybe I should develop a crossfire instead by pushing around. Yeah, let's do that. Generatore di fumo avviato. There's nothing stopping me from pushing, but it's like kind of stupid because I'm just going to end up getting focused and I won't have any good shots on them unless they decide to just retreat from their side. These guys are coming over here, so. Yeah, let's do this. Let's try and develop a crossfire like this. Surprising they haven't been spotted yet. Don't follow me, Nelson. You don't have the speed to do this. You are a sniper. Charlie usually, yeah, it can be a slugfest, but it usually, uh, for me, ends up being a destroyer torp fest. One of the destroyers beats the other, and then the other one just torps it, and whoever's side loses their destroyer retreats. <laughs> That's kind of what <laughs> Charlie ends up being for me on this map. Alright, there's a Belfast. So yeah, we might be able to get in there and light him up with some sap. He's got no torps. Nice work. This Nelson should not have followed us, dude. Like, we have the speed to pull this off. We're pretty quick. He's god-awfully slow. Nice you don't want to do this unless you have speed and unless you have, like, a ship that's capable of flanking. Like, this is a strategy that'll work in Champagne, it'll work in Amalfi, it'll work in Carcholo, but there's certain ships you just shouldn't be doing it in. Doing it in, rather. Nelson's one of them. This little 5k overmatch. Yeah, that Nelson just kind of left our guys out to dry here. What do I think of SAP coming to Italian Freeman Cruisers? Very excited for it. Um, although the only Italian Freeman Cruiser I have is the Gorzia. Or not the Gorzia, the Tier 5 one. And that one's pretty shitty. The HE is very shitty, actually, so it's like, I'll definitely be taking it on that ship. Uh, but I really hope they bring it to the Italian line as a whole. Because, like, if they bring SAP to the Caracciolo, to the Veneto, that thing is going to be monstrous. And I'll love it. It'll be such a fun little ship. This Belfast retreated. That war spite literally just reversed, or yeah, he's reversing. <laughs> oh, I love it. Don't do that, guys. Not just because like it annoys your teammates, but because it's not good. Like you're not gonna get any good shots doing that. You're just gonna end up dying, or your teammates are gonna die. Then you'll die, rather. got away very lucky there we don't want him to escape our range here he should be dead Yep. 
Oh shit. We're broadside. Generatore di fumo avviato. That one saved us. We gotta be careful here. There's a Nagato out there. You cannot go broadside in this thing, guys. This thing's like Vladivostok. It will get destroyed. Oh, that's interesting. That one hurt, didn't it? I don't know what War Spice Reload is, so... But I don't want to find out the hard way. Well, Nelson finally showed up to the party here. He, I personally think he should have helped out our Fiji there. That ship's just too slow to be doing that. That should be close quarters expert, I believe. Yep. La corazzata nemica sta colando a picco. Very nice. Catturate quell'area. They need to separate Benito and Roma more. Uh, I think that's, that's just... Yeah, well, I know it's just a test for sure. They've said that. I'm not sure what they could do to separate those two, honestly. It's kind of, like, tricky, you know? Dude, get in there and capture C, please. A tutte le unità, catturate quell'area. I can take these guys for now. Especially if this guy's gonna give me this angle. Um, uh, yeah, sure, you can join for a couple matches, Death Star. It's just me right now, though. So, uh, Amoezy left. What did I spot? Shit. Okay. Maybe kiting is the way to go now, since otherwise I'm going to be showing a juicy angle to all these guys. Oh man, this could be bad. You know what? If he can get... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, if he can get away with it, we can too, damn it. But he finally got his reckoning. We don't really have to kite anymore. I meant to just do two guns there, rather than the whole glorious salvo. La corazzata nemica sta colando a picco. Concentrate fire on that enemy warship. Affermativo. All right. Um. All stations requesting fire support. Interesting strategy, spamming HE out of A. Um, nice and out. Apparently, guys, Problema you asked sotto, some Spombero 01. Oh my god, another 21,000. Wow. Um, yeah, apparently if you ask Spombero there, that nice and out HE build is pretty underrated. You know? That's a solid one. I don't really think this ship needed a buff, honestly. It's pretty nasty. But I'll take it. Okay. 
a termine era tra 5 minuti. Let's see, which is the better brawler at tier 6? Nizanao or Carcholo? I've heard that this is how you citadel German battleships up close. Nope, that guy doesn't know what he's talking about. He did it to a Kerr first with a, uh, what do you call it? With a Yamato, but it's like, you're only going to do that in Yamato, man. You're not going to do that otherwise. Well, he goofed the torps, so. Oh, there we go. AP. Thank you. Wow. There we go. Alright, the carrier's all they got left. That is our one and only chance of a Kraken. Another great game in the nice now, or the Carcholo here. So yeah. This thing I think is nasty. This is my second or third 150k plus in the last like two days. Because I just uploaded that 180k Carcholo game that was very, very good. Not just for the damage, but like I had so many badges, you know. Because it's not all about damage. There's other things too, and that game just had everything. But it would be nice to add another one, a Kraken in particular, to the resume, you know. A 180k Kraken. Especially with a push, like this is my playstyle here. I like to be aggressive, so I love it when it pays off like this. Hopefully these guys go this way, please. Don't go that way. Let's flank him. Oh, boy. Go that way. Fl yeah, see, that's exactly what I figured was going to happen. If we don't flank him, we're just going to end up all chasing him. Which is not at all what we want to be doing here. <sighs> yeah. Aim below the second turret to citadel them. Citadel them. I'll give it a try. But it's kind of like tough because I have a way of consistently damaging them up close. Like I can absolutely paddle their broadside, guaranteed, which is what I normally like to go for. I like to aim up by the guns. That's an easy 10-15k, guaranteed, all day, all night. Dev strike, please. No. No, damn it. Nice, Leon got a clear sky. I would have very much liked to have gotten that Kraken though. Unfortunate guys, we're not gonna get it. No. Oh well. That is what it is. 177k, not quite as good as the last one, but I'll clip it anyway. Uh, four kills, five citadels, 149 secondary hits, two close quarters experts, a high cal, and 2345 base XP, top of the leaderboard. I get along with Carcholo quite well. Quite well. I could boost my way to the Veneto, but I'm saving my elite XP, so I'm not going to do that. I don't have enough credits for it anyway. So...